In this video, I'm going to go over the steps for putting in an insurance claim for roof damage. If you look at your roof and you have shingles missing or out of place like this, uh, this is typical after a windstorm, what, what do you do? Well, the first thing you do is call a roofer, have them come out and take a look at your roof and do an assessment, and they can give you a guidance on whether you have enough damage for a claim. Based on the creased shingles, the damaged shingles, and the missing shingles, if you do want to put a claim in, you're going to want to do some temporary tarping to keep those areas dry. You're not going to want to do a repair. Uh, we would want to take pictures and video and save that in a file to give to your insurance company. If you do decide to go and put an insurance claim in, they're going to send an adjuster to your house to take a look at the damage usually. And then they're going to enter in all your square footage in a computer program called Xactimate. And we use this program as well. It will come emailed to you in a 10 to 15 pages usually. It will be a breakdown of every single line item that's damaged. The shingles, the felt paper, the drip edge, everything that goes into building the roof and the gutters that were damaged. And many times things are left off or things are not given the appropriate amount, or they forgot something, or it's left off intentionally to see if you catch it. And so it's it's a complicated. It requires training to be able to catch this. So we do continuing education and a lot of training to be able to be an expert in this field. So what you're going to want to do is find a good roofer that is able to, to handle an insurance claim properly. If you do find a good roofer, He's probably going to want to have a an agreement signed saying that uh, if the claim is approved that you would choose them as a roofer because there's time and expense in going into fighting for you and getting your claim approved and it's a business agreement. So then you would want to schedule your inspection with a roofer and this is what Roof Ranger does. You also need to be aware that you don't really need to be concerned about collecting three estimates like you did back in the day because the insurance company will set the price of the claim because they're paying for it. What you need to be more concerned about is choosing the right roofer to work with. That's far more important. You can then have your roof uh, replaced. You can take the insurance money and use that to pay for it. If there's another check that comes in the mail later, you can pay for your roof and get reimbursed for the tarping and the roof replacement when the, when the last check comes in.